Brian Hallett and Ryan Lagoda off turn number four. Green is out and we're underway with the Saturday portion of the Open. And Bill Frisbee's already in a plume of smoke heading into turn number one. They'll work around down the back straightaway for the first time. Brian Hallett up in front. Lagoda in second. Here comes Dinsler. He's going to look to the outside of Frisbee. We'll take third. Major tire smoke on the two of Frisbee as Dinsler slipped up the hill, and that opens up the gates for Andy Cryan to move towards that battle for that fourth and final redraw spot. Five cars battling for two spots right now. Everybody will go heads up behind the redraw cars as they're off turn number two down the back straightaway. Here comes Andy Cryan. He'll look underneath Phil Frisbee for third. Sit side by side into turn to number three. Densler going to try to follow around as they work off the corner. Densler following Bill Frisbee around as Jason Dieter able to get around the deuce of Frisbee. Hanbury in that sixth spot. Dinsler in seven, Bob Palmer eight into 32 as we are halfway home this time by four up, four down. As the field of super stocks take off around oh, Lancaster Motorplex, Brian Hallett will lead them off turn number four, three laps to go for the 36 machine out of Avon. They head down into turns number three and for the parallel popsicle sticks up in the air this time. Two laps to go for Brian Hallett. Flying Brian leading Ryan Lagoda off turn to number two down the back straightaway. They'll head back for turns number three and four one more time. White flag up in the air for the 36 machine of Brian Hallett, the Hallett's automotive ride. We'll lead them around down the back straightaway. We'll set his sights into turn number three and off corner four in for the victory will be flying Brian Hallett. Second will be Lagoda. Third will be Crying. Fourth will be Densler. Will be Jason Dieter in fourth. Then it's Tony Hanbury. Off turn four green, lights come on, we're underway. Heat race number two for the Super Stocks. Off and running with Paul Godby up in front. Coker, Batorski, Farrow. So they're off turn number four onto the drag strip for the first time. Chris Petorski, your race leader. Here comes Eric Coker in the 20. Coker going to try to look to the outside group. Paul Godby still down on the bottom. Side by side for the lead as they head to turn number three. The two metric cars you know, gets a whole slew of aftermarkets. They sling off turn number four. Richmond and Miller slight contacts. They head to turn number one. That opens up the door for Jake Christman to try to go two for one. Crispin trying to look underneath Griffin Miller for position number five. Meanwhile, Godby loose off turn number four. Eric Coker will slip underneath. New race leader, it's Eric Coker. Coker now your leader. Godby and Batorski will renew their battle for position number two. Farrow back to fourth in the 99. Crispin around Miller will take over fifth. He heads to turn number three. Crispin doing double duty running both his sportsman and modified. Petorski will clear Godby and now that opens the door for Tim Farrow down the back straight away. Farrow gonna look for position number three. He's got it off turn number four and Crispin's gonna try to follow Sue in that 48 ride. 
the JM Floor Remodeling, Stan Grover Auto Sales. Machine takes it down the back straight away. Godby on the outside, about to get Freight Train. Griffin Miller out up that time. They're in off the turn. Get that fourth spot to Crispin. Here with two laps to go, Miller, Godby, and Richmond battling at the back. They head down the back straightaway. This one is the Eric Coker Show. Off turn number four, white flag is up in the air. They head off corner four, final time, checkered flag. The win will go to Eric Coker, second to the line, Jake Christman. Ahead of Petorski and Farrow, they'll make the redraw with greens in hand. We'll point to the start zone in turn number four. Pace truck heads to the safe haven of the infield. Green is out, we are underway. T.J. Cochran and Barrett Schenk will lead them for the first time. Off turn and number two down the back straight away. See, head off turn number four. Back to the line one more time with Cochran showing the way. Schenk in second, Brown in third, Vogler four, Dave Bailey five as they work to turn number three. Top three have pulled away from the balance of the field and everybody's chasing down the Cochran Motorsport 06. TJ, the winner of the 2013 US Open in his street stock, trying to look for his first super stock title here at the Open. And here comes Eric Brown. Brownie, the 2022 uh, Super Stock winner. Looking for racing room down the back straight away. But right now, Barrett Shank sits in the two spot. So they head off turn number four. Back to the line one more time. Halfway home, four up, four down, and everybody's chasing TJ Cochran. Shank in the 51, here comes Eric Brown looking underneath Shank, can he complete the pass? Nope, can't do it that time. Let's head back to turn number three. Now Brownie's gonna stuff it underneath the 51, off turn number four. Three laps to go and the battle is on for the two spot. Hang on, Barrett Shank all kinds of swirly on the drag strip, Be able to get it in, but he'll lose the runner up position now to Brown. It's Dave Bailey getting around the 15 of Chris Vogler to move up to position number four. The fourth and final redraw spot belongs to Dave Bailey. Two laps to go for TJ Cochran. Eric Brown on the chase. Down the back straight away. Stay head to turn to number three. Cochran still leading Brownie off that fourth corner to the strip one more time. They take off for the final time into turns number one and two. T.J. Cochran in the 06 leading. Here comes Eric Brown down the back straightaway. Brown's got one last crack at it at the north end of the speedway. Brown's there. Here they come off turn number four. They're drag racing to the line. Eric Brown in for the victory. Second is Cochran. Third is Barrett Shank. Fourth to Dave Bailey. Chris Vogler in fifth. Brandon Larner in sixth. 